Covering the Treasure Coast, Brightline trains will soon be speeding even faster down the tracks. Our Jessica Carboneri is in Jensen Beach with the new test starting this month. This testing is a part of Brightline's expansion to Orlando next year, and these trains are very fast. They go at 110 miles per hour, and this doesn't start until October 17th, the testing that is, uh, but some businesses and people in areas like here in Jensen Beach may notice it. You can see a lot of these businesses uh, are right along the train tracks in this cul-de-sac area right here. Brightline tells me the first phase of testing will last about a week at crossings between Palmetto Road in Martin County and Savannah Road in St. Lucie County. We're told additional testing for this corridor will be done at a later time and Brightline says they will have flaggers and off duty deputies stationed at these crossings during this time, but are reminding people to use caution since trains will be running in both directions. Drivers can also expect longer wait times at railroad crossings, something John Gentilly, who owns Jensen Beach Barbershop right across from the tracks, isn't looking forward to. With the freight trains and the Brightline, yeah, it's going to be an interesting mix. It, it, just the, the amount of traffic going back and forth and uh, the circle and it's just, it could be chaos. As for the trains outside the testing corridor between West Palm Beach and Cocoa Beach, they will go at a normal top fright speed of about 60 miles per hour. And again, Brightline will begin testing between Martin and St. Lucie County on October 17th. Reporting from Jensen Beach, I'm Josie Carbonari, WPBF 25 News.